guys welcome back to the channel so i just wanted to come on here drop through really quick and to just encourage your hearts on this morning um i was sitting down thinking well this afternoon whenever you're watching this video but i was just sitting down thinking the other day and the lord began to download some things in my spirit and i wanted to encourage you that it's not hard living for christ I know it's so cliche or it's easier said than, than done, but the enemy, it's the enemy. It's the enemy that makes it seem hard living for God. Now, granted, um, trying times do come. Nobody said that it will be easy. Um, Jesus didn't say um, that he, he, he prepared us for this. He told us, you know, it's going to be hard. And I know you said, well, you just said it's not going to be hard. Let me get there. So what I mean by that is when you realize when you have been going through or, or I don't even want to say that when you know that's it when you know who Jesus is in your life when you know who you are who you belong to when you know who's on your side that's when it becomes easy because if God before you then who can be against you I wait. Yeah, if God be for you, then who can be against you? It's when you understand that. That's when you're like, man, this thing is easy. Yes, you're going to have to go through battles. Yes, you're going to have to go through storms. But the war has already been won. The war has already been won on the cross because Jesus said it is finished. That was it. So I want to encourage you on today to know and don't let the enemy bombard you with all this. And if he does, remember that the fight, I fight from a place of, of Paul says, he told Timothy, fight the good fight. Fight the good fight of faith. He didn't say fight the bad fight or fight the fight. I don't know if you're going to win, but just fight it. No, he says fight the good fight of faith. It's a good fight. And the fact that you're already fighting means that you won, right? So if we know that it is finished, if we know that Jesus finished it and he won for us on the cross, we don't fight from a place of, of defeat. We fight from a place of victory because we know I already got this. Because if God be for me, then who can be against me? This battle has already been won. I'm just going through the motions. Hey, I'm just going through the motions. I'm getting on the other side. And But Jesus is going to help you get on the other side, right? So here's the thing. You have to know who you are, who's on your side, who God is in your life. He says, I am. He said, tell him, tell Pharaoh that I am. And some people might say, Okay, what is I am? Like, can you fill in the blanks? He is everything that you need him to be. Your battle axe, your strong tower, your mind regulator, your mother, your father, a friend. Fill in the blank. Whatever you need Jesus to be, he's that for you. The blank is empty for you. That's why he said I am. I am what, God? I am. He is your redeemer. He is your strong tower. Whatever you need, your mother, your father, Whatever you need Jesus to be, he's just that. Okay? So I just want to encourage your hearts and your minds on today that it's not hard living for Jesus. It's not hard. And I people they they make me cringe when they say, Oh my gosh, it's so hard living saved. It's so hard living for God. Um, but it's the enemy's job to make people think that like living living for God and living saved is hard. That's what the enemy wants you to think. But it's not. And like I said, it's not saying that you're not going to go through things. It's not saying that um, trials are going to come. Look at, the, look at the disciples when they were on the boat. Jesus went to sleep. He went to sleep. But these disciples, Jesus told them we're going to go to the other side. He said we we're going to go to the other side. He meant what he said. We're going to the other side. And so the storm came. The enemy was in the wind. The storm came. Okay. And the disciples 
they went to go wake Jesus up. So the storm came, but Jesus said what he said, we're going to go to the other side. So nobody told the disciples um, when there's no, no wind is going to blow. Um, you're not going to come. You're not going to be facing anything. Jesus said what he said, we're going to go to the other side. So I'm here to tell you this today that God, if God be for you, then who can be against you? When you have Jesus on your side by standing right beside you in the front of you, on the inside of you, hello, somebody. When he's on the inside of you, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You have to know that and you have to believe that. Greater is he, great greater, not less, but greater is he that is in me because he's living on the inside of me. That's why he died. That's why he said it is finished. You got to start connecting these dots. You got to get that revelation. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I know Jesus living on the inside of me. So, okay, I got this. Yeah. Trials may come, trials may go, but God is with me during those um, trials. Psalms 23, yea, that I'll walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will feel no evil. Why? Because he is with me. My ride and my staff, he comfort me. You know, you know Psalms 23. So I just want to encourage you. <clears throat> excuse me. So I just want to encourage you on today to know that don't, don't let the enemy fool you and make you think that it's so hard living for God. It's so hard living a sold out life for Christ. You might as well just don't do it. You might as well not give your life to him. Don't surrender your whole life to him. Don't do that because it's hard. That's what the enemy is going to try to say. That's what he's been telling some of y'all. But no, and I'm here to tell you on today that it is easy with Jesus Christ. It's easy with him. It's easy. The Bible tells us peace that passes all understanding. That's easy. That's an ease. That's an ease. Peace that passes all understanding. You know our mind and our understanding is not like his. But he will give you that peace that passes all understanding. That's ease. You see that? That's ease. Philippians 4 and 13 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So it's with God, it's through Christ, and it's because of him that makes it easy. Do you get what I'm saying? It's because of Jesus Christ that makes it easy. So I just want to encourage you, I want to drop that in your hearts today, <laughs> that with God, all things are possible, and you can live this life that God called you to live. You can. You can't. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. Don't let the enemy tell you that you can't because you can. Okay. So I pray that you all be blessed in Jesus name. Love you guys so much. Bye.